Anyway, this is probably a good time to film the intro. So this video has changed multiple times today. Uh, we were supposed to be getting live bait. I've got all the live bait gear and we were gonna live bait for these pelagics that we're now trolling for in this gutter. But I couldn't get any liveies because it was a very high low tide today and I'm already pretty crap at getting live bait. Um, and then we were supposed to drop some baits and hopefully get some golden snapper and stuff. But that big boat that I'll uh, show you in a little while <laughs> kind of destroyed that idea instantly because um, we were directly in the path of him and uh, I didn't really feel like getting fine today. So now we're just going to troll, try and hook up to another one of these good pelagics. We've got the crab pots out so hopefully we can get some crabs. Um, but that's kind of all we're going to do now is just crab and troll. Uh, maybe just flick some lures if we find a patch of fish that aren't really moving around. See how we go. Thanks for tuning in. Okay. Another pot right up in there. What a nice little spot. Uh, yep. We got the float. Yeah, is that for a float throw right up here? Hopefully get one out of that. You beauty. This spot looks pearly just in here. I'm in neutral. Just, um, just here? in the shadow, like two meters up just in there. Yeah, mint. Nailed it. Is another nice looking spot, eh? Go forward a little bit. What, like in here? Yeah, forward and left a fraction. Left, 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 left. And then neutral. Is that a croc? No. Sweet, and then back us out. I'm gonna need help here. Yeah, no, you're just, you just do it. That was a ridiculous fish. Absolutely ridiculous. He was just pulling 40 pound braid like it was 10 pound. That fish was huge. So we just got absolutely smashed in this section. There's a really deep little gutter that runs along here. Uh, and there's really big pelagics that come through here. Like I've seen uh, Trevally in the 80s. I've seen Queenies like around 80, 90 centimetres. And I've actually hooked up to a Spanish here as well, believe it or not, up a little river system in uh, Darwin Harbour and we got absolutely creamed. This rod here on the left hand side just buckled straight over and whatever it was ran straight into the edge of the mangroves here. There was just nothing I could do. So we've just set ourselves up for another run and we'll see how we go. So that's the gutter that I was talking about earlier. Um, just in here, it comes from about three and a half meters uh, and then it comes down to 11. Um, so this gutter is actually quite close to the edge of the bank here. It's probably only about three or so meters off um, the mangrove line and you just get the big, big pelagics coming through here uh, and they just sit on the edge of that gutter and they come up and smash bait. So this is why I've um, been trolling through the edge of this gutter line here and you would have seen us lose that good fish earlier <laughs> and i absolutely panicked when it hit because i knew we probably weren't going to land it and it actually ran straight through the mangroves um but anyway that's why i kind of like this spot here because there's a really deep gutter close to the edge of the mangroves and that's why you get the big pelagics in here righto so that pretty much concludes uh the trolling part of this we just missed that massive fish, so that's pretty disappointing. Had a few other follows and stuff when we were just flicking around earlier. 
Um, but yeah, no real big fish like that first hook up. That was insane. So from here, we're just gonna um, pull the rods in and just check the pots and then we'll probably go home. So hopefully we got a couple of crabs. Uh, fingers crossed. Anyway, we'll see you when I got something to show you. Yeah, that's, there he is. Nice little uh, gutter kind of in there. There should be two more further up. In case you're wondering, we are in next to no water here. So if it looks shallow, it is. <laughs> Whoa. We have a nice legal buck. Whoop. Oh, and a little bluey in the back corner. Oh. That is a bloody nice crab, but thank you, mate. Thanks for saving the day. You beauty. Can't say anything, bud. And there is a croc in here. Mm. That's cool. The actual thing's gone. Yeah, it's ripped everything out of it, so I'm not gonna stand on the side of the boat like that. Yeah. Raid it again. Um, yeah, I'd say a croc is... Ah, uh, but that's undone. Yeah, he just would have pulled it undone. Unless yeah. any of these are undone. Nah. So, that croc has just smashed us. I'd say this one up here will be, un will be raided too. Yeah. Alrighty. Another really good looking spot just here. Hey babe, your string's right there. <laughs> Where's the pokey boy? It's right next to you. All right. Hopefully there's a couple flatties in here. Not very hit. Oh, yes. Another really good looking buck. He's got that cross too. Definitely a legal crab. Tell you what, I thought there was going to be a good crab in here because this spot is just unreal. Awesome. There it is. That's what we just came out of. Righto, so that brings us to the end of the day. Um, doesn't quite always go to plan. As you saw, we definitely lost the fish of the day. We had a couple of other hits um, from smaller stuff, but we got absolutely dusted on uh, 40 pound, which doesn't happen too often um, up a little creek in Darwin Harbour. But I knew it was a pretty decent little spot. And like I was saying, I've seen some bloody ripper fish there. Anyway, we ended up with a couple of crabs, which is really what I wanted to get out of the day, um, was a nice little feed of crabs. So I absolutely nailed that with two nice bucks that'll be coming home. Um, but overall, pretty slow. Um, so hopefully when the water and stuff warms up a bit, we'll get a few more fish. But I think Darwin Harbour overall this year has actually been pretty terrible crabbing. I don't know uh, if anyone else that watches these videos would kind of agree, but all my usual spots in Darwin Harbour that have generally produced quite well have been pretty hard going this year, which is why I've had to go out to Shoal Bay. That's all she wrote for the day. Thanks for tuning in, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.